Okay, so for this problem, we're asked to calculate the mass of a solid, and we're given a function of its density. And we know that our solid is a, is, our solid is a solid circular half cylinder, where z is between negative 4 and 4, x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 4, and y is greater than 0. So let me start by projecting this solid into the xy plane. I know the function x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 4 is going to give me a circle centered at the origin of radius 2. So let me go and draw that in. It's supposed to be centered at the origin. It doesn't really look it. And then y is greater than or equal to 0. So I'm only looking at the top half of this circle. Let me shade it in. So that's what my function looks like projected in the xy plane. Now let's try to draw it as a 3D shape. Let me start with my projection. I know this is the positive y-axis, so my projection looks something like that. And then I'm going to extend up 4 units and down 4 units. So we can see that I'm, you know, I'm just looking at half of a cylinder. So now I'm ready to integrate, right? But I know this is a cylinder, so maybe I should use cylindrical coordinates. I know z is going to stay the same. x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 4. We'll translate to r is between 0 and 2. And then for y greater than or equal to 0, I need something for theta. So let me look at my projection. Instead of going all the way around the circle, it only goes halfway. So like from 0 to pi. So those will be my bounds for theta. Now I'm ready to set up my integral. Except that my density function is still in Cartesian coordinates. But we can remember that we're, when we're converting to cylindrical coordinates, y equals r sine theta. So I'll integrate that version of the density function instead. So I've got my r sine theta. And I just need some bounds. It doesn't really matter which order I integrate in. All of my bounds are constants. But I'm going to do r, then theta, then z. So 0 to 2, negative 4 to 4, and 0 to pi. I'm missing something, though. The area, well, dA, ugh, dV, we're in, we're in the xyz plane, um, is r, dr, dz, d theta. So I need to make this an R squared. Now I can start integrating. First I'm going to go with respect to R. So the integral of R squared is going to be 1 third R to the third, and sine theta will act like a constant. Give myself a little more room. I'm going to go ahead and pull that 1 third out, just so my function is a little bit easier to work with. And then I want to evaluate that from r equals 0 to r equals 2. So let me start by plugging in 2. 2 cubed is going to be 8, so I'm looking at 8 sine theta minus 0. I'm going to go ahead and add that 8 out here to the 1 third, just so I don't have to deal with it right now. So now I'm looking at 8 thirds times the integral of sine theta. 
And next up, I'm going to integrate with respect to z. Let me move over here to do that. Well, sine theta is just like a constant. So when I integrate with respect to z, I'm just going to get z times sine theta. And then I want to evaluate that from z equals negative 4 to z equals 4. So let me start by plugging in that 4. Right? I'm going to get 4 sine theta. And then when I plug in negative 4, I'm actually going to end up adding another 4 of sine theta, which is going to give me 8. So I'm looking at 8 thirds integral from 0 to pi of 8 sine theta, sine theta d theta. I'm going to pull this 8 out and make this 64 thirds. And now I'm ready to integrate with respect to theta. I know the integral of sine is going to be negative cosine. I'd rather not deal with that negative sign, so instead I'm going to switch my bounds of integration. So now instead of integrating from 0 to pi, I'm going to integrate from pi to 0. So if I plug in 0, I know cosine of 0 is 1. And then plug in pi, cosine of pi is negative 1. Minus a negative 1 becomes plus 1. So I'm looking at 64 thirds times 2, or 128 thirds. Now, I know density is given in kilograms per meters cubed. So when I integrate over my solid, the units for my answer are going to be kilograms. So now I know that the mass of my solid is 128 over 3 kilograms.